Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I got here an article about the success that the Russian army um, has in Ukraine, according to the Russians. So uh, that's a lot of uh, foreign fighters killed and um, other uh, military equipment. So let's see what's going on here. This article comes from Republic World from today, July 18th, 2022. This is the title. Russia claims to have killed 250 foreign fighters and destroyed 12 special vehicles. Uh, how do you know there are 250 and there are foreign fighters? Maybe they got some intelligence. All right, the Russian De Defense Ministry has said that 12 special vehicles have been destroyed in the attack carried out at a temporary deployment point of mercenaries. Oh, so uh, they were over there waiting to be uh, deployed somewhere. Russia has claimed to have neutralized more than 250 when, quote unquote foreign fighters using high precision missile strikes at a temporary deployment point for mercenaries of the so-called Ukrainian Foreign Legion. It's in uh, quotation marks, the uh, so-called Ukraine Foreign Legion in the Konstantinovka region of Donetsk, TASS reported. The Russian Defense Ministry in its report has said that 12 special vehicles have been destroyed in the attack carried out at a temporary deployment point of mercenaries. The latest report of the Russian Defense Ministry comes amid the ongoing war between Russia and Ukraine, which has continued for more than 140 days. And I'm quoting, high-precision air-based missiles in Konstantinovka, Donetsk People's Republic, has neutralized temporarily deployment point of mercenaries of so-called Ukrainian Foreign Legion. The attack have resulted, the attacks have resulted in the elimination of more than 250 military personnel and 12 special vehicles the Russian Defense Ministry said in the latest report. Wow, so there's 250, not 251, not 249. That's uh, the same thing as with uh, other uh, figures uh, that uh, are so clear, like, uh, you know, you're in the uh, Second World War, certain kind of uh, numbers cannot be altered because if you alter them, even if you add to them, no, it has to be precisely that number the same here 250 okay and 12 all right all right no problem 12 what do you think it seems like the russians are getting more uh, precise in their picking the location of this um i don't want to say mercenaries because i don't know if they're mercenaries or not uh, i would call them uh, foreign not foreign yeah foreign Foreign fighters, because foreign fighters could be uh, volunteers, foreign fighters could be mercenaries, foreign fighters could be, you know, part of the Ukrainian legion of killing Russians. So um, that's one article that tells me about this pinpoint attack. I have more and I read some more and I will come with some more articles regarding their, uh, the Russians ability to hit those um, uh, point, uh, locations where armament is. I posted another video yesterday regarding the um, uh, Russians being able, according to the Russians, to destroy a depot with harpoon missiles. And uh, they were very happy about it, obviously. The, Ru the Ukrainians uh, did not confirm uh, nor denied anything. Just say, okay, nothing happened here, probably. And there were some other, uh, it was another article that I made a video about uh, the Russians destroying some... Um, High Mars, American-made, you know, long-range uh, missile systems. Uh, that's another one. Uh, they are looking for this. I have another article that I will discuss in a minute, talking about the Russians. Uh, actually, the uh, Sergei Shoigu, the in, guy in charge of the Russian military. I'm, uh, I've been told, and uh, not Putin, but who knows? He is. Uh, he's visiting the front. So in the occupied territories of Ukraine, and one of his, uh, I was about to say request, uh, I don't know, orders was to have special uh, troops go and destroy a, um, 
long range or short range missile launcher systems, launching systems. So that would be uh, an official order, which probably was before too, but this is specific and made for us to hear it, that he uh, ordered these groups, specific groups of, uh, of uh, I'm assuming, very well trained people when you go behind the enemy lines or in the enemy territory to try to blow up or at least to gather information. Uh, he did not talk about uh, gathering, in, gathering information, so learning only, but destroying, focusing on destroying those. So I don't know if they're going to be um, saboteurs, um, so there will be groups of uh, sabotage, or there will be uh, just uh, informants. You know, you gather information and then you uh, provide the location and try to destroy them that way. There's many me methods, obviously, to take care of them. Nevertheless, uh, coming back to this, 250, 250 foreign fighters. Now, you know, you know there are foreign fighters. I'm, I'm not, how should I put it? I'm not, um, I, I'm not so naive to think that everything that occurs in Ukraine is voluntary and everything is clear and everything is correct, fair, legal, and all that. Uh, I'm, I'm perfectly ready to accept if I have information that uh, I know rapes, uh, obviously war crimes, mercenaries are involved on both sides because I think I'm 99.9% .9 certain that these things occur on both sides and mercenaries and uh, private armies, uh, private uh, um, protection services or how you want to call them, they are involved in this war. And not only, I even expect to be group groups of people formed outside of Ukraine who will fight their own uh, kind of, their own... Uh, I don't want to say their own war, but they will have their own um, battalion or group of people that would act upon uh, whatever they think they are doing. It's a kind of like special special um, troops, special uh, uh, that they are just, uh, they operate on their own and they're their own uh, little, uh, they have their own command and their own action plan. I would not be surprised if you have uh, foreigners from the Western countries fighting, and not only Western countries, fighting for Ukraine that were, they are veteran, previous, you know, fighters in other wars and being someone in uh, Russia's uh, like Syrians or uh, Iraqis and whomever that uh, would just try to uh, uh, have an itchy finger. So. That's when they hit this uh, 250 people, it could be so many, uh, they could be a, 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 of so many groups, but they just put them over there for mercenaries, foreign uh, fighters, uh, they are not belonging to the foreign legion, not legion, uh, Ukrainian international legion, blah, blah, blah. Nevertheless, it seems like the Russians are, and this, this news, it seems like they, they start becoming more often, more, more prevalent. Whereas before, I'm pretty sure they existed, but I don't think they uh, they were provided to us. I think and I think this, the, the Western countries are just uh, slowly moving away, but we'll see. We'll see. I mean, I haven't heard uh, Great Britain saying much about anything. I heard only Liz Truss saying something about that uh, unfortunate uh, British citizen who died in the custody of the... Donetsk or whatever uh, authorities caught him and so on, the guy with uh, diabetes and other uh, illnesses. Well, thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.